everyone and welcome back to my channel this is Laura with diamond painting and stitching with Laura and today we're going to work on a different beaded cross stitch um, this is what it is supposed to look like whoops let me bring it down a little bit and bring you out there we go that way you can see it and we're right over in here this is what we're working on this yellow flower and I got it from AliExpress. Um, it said when I went to go look it up, I can remember what shop I got it from. I got it from shop one two six one nine. I mean, one two six one seven eight nine on AliExpress. I paid fifty six ninety three for it, and they no longer have it available. I don't. It says it's 131 by 54 centimeters. And working on this yellow part here, number 48. So how's everybody's weekend going? I hope it's going good for everybody. And I've been doing, I picked this up last night and did all these colors. And I did them all backwards because I'm doing this one actually backwards from the way that I'm doing it on the other one. So that made me mad, but I'm going to try to work around them and see if it, it makes a difference. They look like they're all going in the same direction. I'm not going to worry about it at this point. I just did this little white part that you see right there last night, so... We'll continue on in the way that I had continued before, so. Oh, and I was going to tell you, I uh, I told you yesterday, I think, that um, I ordered a another beaded uh, cross stitch, and I got it from AliExpress, and it's the, I want to say Makashka, I'm, not, I'm sure that's not how you pronounce all that. But um, they, I looked it up, and it seems like they have plastic beads instead of the glass beads. So I want, I'm kind of curious. Geez, if I could just get that in that hole um, to see how that goes. I've never used these; are the only two that I've ever had, and they both got glass beads to use I gotta move my oh I should tell you that this has actually 50 colors in it so there's a lot of colors in this and I'm gonna be doing this the same way that I'm doing the the beaded cottage um, you know just doing one color at a time now down here this is as much as I had completed before, um, I had a nervous breakdown and decided not to do it that way. So I put this away for a while. But uh, it'll be pretty. I'm just going to work on both of them, left and right. And I've put them, oh, I wanted to show you. Now these, I got, God, it's been... I think it was somewhere, it was when Crawlipex was uh, working on hers. Come on. And uh, so that was like December-ish. But I put them all in the um, th same things that I was using for my diamond. But um, what I have my other beads in, and I'll show you this one. I actually got this one, whoops, from uh, Diamond Art Club. Let me bring you out a little bit. Whoops, wrong way. My bad. And it has 30 in each. And this, I think I'll just save for the um, the beaded cross stitches. Um, and I like them because they're little, you know, and you don't have to put so many. I put the rest of them in a bag like I do my um, diamond painting, you know, extra and everything that way they don't spill and they don't get lost but there is a 
crap ton for this. Just let me show you the bag of oh, the extra that I have. This is the bag with the extra thread and the white that I bought. And these are all the extra beads that go with this one. So I guess I put it back. It all came like this in a bag. So I'm just going to leave them in this bag until I need it, you know, to refill my containers or whatever. That, that little bag must weigh a good five pounds if it weighs an ounce. It's just unbelievable. And that's what they were saying on that, I want to say Makashka, I don't... Uh, what's her name? Um, Diamond Painting with Christy, I think that's her name. Um, she had just gotten one from them. And I, I didn't even think about them being plastic. You know, so I wasn't paying attention. I, And I don't know that she picked them all up. You know, she kind of said, oh, these are pretty or whatever. And I wasn't even thinking that they would be plastic. So, But they say they're lighter weight. So we will see how well they do. And they kind of remind me of drills for the diamond painting because they're solid color. But, uh, got to put another one in there. I missed one. There we go. It's kind of a pretty yellow. It's really a, a pale. Is there such a thing as a pale? It's a lighter bright yellow. It's not real dark. I don't. No, if you can, whoops. I'll bring you in a little bit. There you go. So it's kind of nice. They have lots of pretty colors in this. But, you know, I'll be lucky if I get four inches done in a month and a half at the rate I'm going. But uh, I liked it just the same because of all the, where did I lay it? Oh, dear. Of all the, the beautiful colors that are in it. And the butterflies. And I like these purple flowers right here. But it, it's really nice. And then it has a couple symbols here. And and right here that you have to do back stitching for this part. And then I'm not real clear on that. I don't know if that's beads or not. But uh, and then I don't. I'm pretty sure that. I'm not real sure at all how's that, whether or not those are beads or not, but uh, it has a lot of colors. Let's, oh, see if I can, wait, maybe I can do it the other way. Hang on, we are not chancing this. Hang on, we got to nail it down. Let me bring you out again, whoops. There's part of them. Almost easier to see it that way. And then there's the rest of them. Oh, I found my thimble. I wondered where it got off to. Of course, I'm not using it right now. But, uh, yeah, so it has a lot of colors. And this one, it doesn't, the only back stitching that you do, you know, this was specifically made for a um, beaded cross stitch, I believe. Because it doesn't have any back stitching of things like that cottage does. When oh that cottage man, it just freaked me out when I got it. Because I'm like, well, how the hell do you back stitch on something that, you know? I don't know. Doesn't make sense to me. And I watch other people that have these beaded cross stitches, and they're so much further and. Some of them do them in time lapse, but I like to do them in regular time. Besides that, I can't figure out how to use my time lapse on uh, my editing program. 
I mean, you're lucky I can get it all in one thing, you know, these days. But, uh, they've been doing them in sections. So, I thought that was kind of cool. But I still have, I, I just can't follow that damn line, you know. So, we're just going to do like we did on the other one and, and do a section at a time. Oops, I missed one right there. And I don't think, since I went the wrong way, that you'll be able to tell after you get all these crazy beads on here. That I went the wrong way on a few of them. I don't know why I went backwards on part of them. I guess I just started that way, so I don't know. I just don't know. So it, it's been kind of a a long day at work. It was raining earlier and it just rained right before I started this video. So it's been doing that like off and on all day long. So it was kind of busy. I mean, it was dead as a doornail and then all of a sudden it was just busier and busy. So I feel sorry for them crazy people that are out there trying to camp because I'm sure they got drowned and drenched unless you were in a an RV of some kind. Man, this is hard to see backwards. And I don't use a um well, I missed again. A hoop on a beaded thing because um, I was listening to Crayola Picks and she said if um, you have beads on it, you don't have to put it in a, what do you call it, a hoop or a frame or, or anything. I guess you can if you want, you know. I mean, that's what you want to do. Um... I don't know how it would turn out because I'm not used to using them frames and hoops and stuff. I mean, it worked fine when I was stitching. I just got tired of messing with the damn thing and and just wanted to make some progress. But I spent three hours trying to get it to do what I wanted it to do. And I just gave up. I'm, I'm, I'll go back to it, but not today and not this week. So... There we go. I can actually bend the thing. Let me move you over a little bit. There we go. So you can see where I'm working at. But not much going on here. I don't know how the camp out went that they were having for... Like I said, it's for a cause. But um, I don't know what the cause was or if everybody that was doing it was doing it for, you know, so-called their cause. Not their, you know, like, but whatever cause that they decided to work for, you know, or camp out for. Like if somebody wanted the heart. Molly! Jeez Louise. Work for, um, say, the Heart Association or Muscular Dystrophy or whatever, you know. I don't know if it was an individual thing or if it was the whole thing was put on and for say the heart association or whatever you know I can't think of too many things I don't get too much involved with that I haven't had the money to do that kind of a thing so and I was definitely not into running or doing some kind of sport for some kind of cause there so that was so not me I was the klutz so I was not athletic I was an indoor girl yeah I was an indoor girl and even some days I couldn't handle being indoors because I was either tripping or falling but uh, so one thing at a time and my kids they never got into that they were all into the band, so they weren't into athletics 
of any kind. But, uh, yeah, we lived through all that. Oops. Come on. I think it'll be pretty when it's done. When and if and if and when it'll be done. Can't make no promises because this looks like a lifetime job to me. I got lots of lifetime prog projects. Kind of like the, the Great Wall of China. It's still sitting over there to be diamond painted. And every time I go looking for a new project, either diamond painting or stitching, I think, well, God, I could do that faster if I diamond painted it. Or I could, that'd be fun to do stitching, you know, so you try to find the crossovers. And some you can find and some you can't. But, uh, I thought I'd just work on this for a little bit and do something different. I know you're probably all sick of that that cottage it it doesn't get to me I just thought well you know since it was going so well I thought well I'll just drag this out and see how it goes because literally I haven't looked at it since I went nope I, no can't see all that so or you know keep a line straight there's got to be an easier way to do that, you know, of looking at that line. Somebody should devise something that goes over your page and you could just move the, you know, like it fit in. I don't know how, like you're, like, hang on. Like if your finger was here and it went down the, thing you know so that you could see and watch and know what um what do you call it what row that you were on you know I think it would make it a whole lot easier but I'm not that bright and brilliant I don't design things or uh, figure out those kind of things I can't invent anything but to save my butt but oh crap went the wrong way again I almost did I almost did because I'm so used to going that other direction so hopefully I don't mess it up I was gonna get here and let me show you how far I got on the cottage hang on I gotta Oh, I need a bigger desk. Hang on, guys. I guess I'm going to have to bring you out again. Hang on. There we go. So you can see I've almost finished all the purple flowers over there and I finished all the pink pink and light pinks right in here. So it's coming. We're getting one little section at a time. I wouldn't say it was the fastest craft, but uh, I think they're beautiful when they're done and they're nice and sparkly and shiny. Kind of like diamond painting, you know. I guess that's what drew me to it. I would like to learn how to, what do you call it? Embroider on silk, if I could. But I'm not that brave. Silk sounds expensive, doesn't it? But, uh, I did get the butterfly over here done. And see, and you have to, what do you call it, back stitches, little antennae, but uh, it's kind of pretty. I don't know what that little blob is supposed to be. I have no freaking idea. I 
not a clue. I know that this is a leaf, of course you can see, and then there's some kind of a flower in here that's starting. So I just thought I'd work on it a while and show you something a little bit different. But, uh, and I looked through these colors and they're all like two or three shades of yellow. So I couldn't find any bright colored like that's over here. on this edge but uh, I just think it's pretty and it's relaxing after you get onto it it's relaxing it is for me I don't know about anybody else what in the world got here A little piece of something A piece of plastic from somewhere And the key is uh, pretty clear, but I still use this to if I'm looking for a specific color, I just look up what page because this is all on one sheet, kind of like a map, which is irritating. I thought maybe it had, let me think, or see. But it, it came in a booklet like this. So I guess those are beads. Those are beads and those are beads as well. But it will be pretty when it gets done. It's just getting there. And I guess we're working on this yellow flower here. And then this is a butterfly over here. I don't know why the crazy butterfly is two different colors. That's kind of strange. I guess that's a different shade of orange. It's 14. Let me see. It should be a red. Yeah, it is. That 14 is a fire engine red. So I have to finish the butterfly over here. But, you know, it was in the the process of going back and forth but just and there's lots of whoops iridescent colors as well in this they remind me of a uh, carnival glass let me show you you know the green carnival glass see how shiny it is and it's got purples and greens and blues in it and then I just saw another one it was here somewhere then you have one in red and orange and yellows. Just beautiful. So I don't know how well I'm going to like the plastic ones, you know, after working with these. Because I like the iridescent colors that they, they get in them. There's a nice bright pink. Mm. Oh, yummy, 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 yummy. Oh, and there's that purple one. Isn't that beautiful? It just looks like you could eat it. It looks like purple candy. Oh. Heavy little suckers, but they're they're pretty. If I get the stupid dang lid back on so I don't drop it. Because God, I would be so mad. Just so totally, totally pissed. But we'll see how long it takes. I didn't measure, how much did I say that was? It was 54 by 131. So what is 131 centimeters? 131 centimeters is how many inches? 131 is 50, uh, we'll say 51 and a half ish, just a 51 and a half inches long. A long way and what was the other one 54 54 is like 20, 20 21 almost 21 and a half somewhere close so 
Yeah. It'll get there. I'm I'm just not just taking my time and you know, God knows. I'll be a hundred years old and I'll still have all my other stupid projects. My daughter about ready to kill me I buy anything else, but no, I I buy what I want, you know. Nobody's you know, telling me do or don't, you know, as far as that goes. I gotta get out of this frickin' corner here. There's some rent there that I kind of wanted to get to. Now this is actually a needle that I actually got two threads through. Ha! <laughs> Imagine that. That never happens. Usually never these days. I don't know. I can only seem to get one in there, so I'm just kind of going with it. And of course, I've been to the, what do you call that place? The sewing store, and I forgot to get the stupid quilting thread that would uh, probably work just as fast. And it's pretty strong. I just don't know how it would do with this glass. But, you know, I mean, they seem to be, uh, what do you call it, smooth? So I don't have that problem. I meet up with a broken one, of course, every once in a while, and I just throw it away. Or one that's chipped, or they didn't get cut exactly, or something. But, uh, so I haven't had that problem, so I thought I'd try some quilting thread. I do have some of that. Oh, it's bead thread, and I don't know what it's made of. Don't ask me. Don't know. It's been a hundred years since I used bead thread. So I don't know if it's made with silk. I don't know. Not a clue. But it, none of the kits that I got came with that uh, stuff that looks like fishing line. That I want to say spirea. I don't know that that's actually the way you say that word. But, uh, I'm not real hip on these things, you know. I try to go with the flow, and, oh, we're learning something new. Great. Okay. What else you got? You know. And I just don't let it bug me. Because this is supposed to be a pleasure to do. Not, not work. And, you know, not supposed to be hard or difficult. But, uh. Oh, you vey. Thought I was never going to get out of there today. We had like two and a half hours of peace and quiet, so to speak, and maybe an order here, an order there, and then all of a sudden all hell broke loose. As soon as the first onset of rain, and it didn't let up too much. Now, if you can see me, we're going to have to keep moving you over there. You can see where my thread's at. There's a lot of colors in this, so it'll take me a while to get a section done doing it one color at a time. But I just thought, well, if I could see the colors, maybe I could just do it that way. I don't know what color I'm going to do next. Haven't made that big decision yet. I kind of want to do the ones that are just like there's two different blues there and then there's you know do the the odd men out so to speak and get them taken care of and then do the big areas but it seems to go okay So, got to work again tomorrow, yay, because my boss is going out of town for three days, 
So I have to open three days and then I get, then I have to work Thursday and then I'm off Friday and Saturday. My daughter and I have decided we're going to bingo. So that'll be fun and a kind of a change of pace because I usually don't go to bingo because I was working and getting up at 3.30 in the morning and I hated to come in at 10 o'clock at night because I could barely make it to 9, let alone uh, go out and, I mean, we don't drink or anything, so that's not real hard on me, but it's just the staying up and being stimulated. Then it takes a couple hours just to get, what do you call it? calmed down and everything but I just thought it'd be fun to go do something different they have a movie theater well they have a uh, drive-in here actually still and I don't know I'm assuming that it's open uh, now you know for the summertime so that'll be fun we, I haven't been since I've been back but uh, I think they only work on the weekends. But uh, they may be open during the week. I, I don't know. It's been so long. I mean, I think the last time I went to went there was when my kids were little. And that's been a few years. Just a few. So. I don't know. But they don't have a, a regular movie theater here. So, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out if I'm just going to let it go for right now. Because I don't know. I'd have to look it up. See if that orange was the same orange. Sometimes I, I get a little confused and don't know if they're the same or if it's a shade off. You know, when you got 50 colors, you know, you kind of start wonder, wondering. But there, well, we got all that done over that way. That says 14. Oh, that's that red. Let's work with that red. If I can find my... Oops, wrong bunch. Oh, geez. This is great. 40, no, 48 was the number that I had. And I poured these, tried to pour beads back in that thing the other night, and... Missed the whole thing, and those suckers, they don't land like diamonds, you know? They just roll everywhere. It's, it's pathetic. Okay, number 14. I should have kept it out while I had it. It was right there. And I gotta keep everything separate. Although, this one, you know. And you could work with this if you wanted to pick them up. separately you know and just whoops sorry and just reach in there but I don't like to do that I like to if I'm gonna work on a color just pour them out there I was counting on those rows and oh my god it was just driving me nuts I just I couldn't see it to save my butt oh my lord it was horrible just horrible so we're gonna I got my, what you call it, my needles threaded here. They're all hanging off the other side of my, I almost said diamond painting, the other side of my work over here. That way I don't have to stop and bore you people to tears while I try to get that stupid damn thread in there. Oh, God, that just drives me crazy. Because sometimes it'll go right in. Next time, not so much. So I guess I should thread about 10 needles and uh, that way when I'm ready to go we're going to go right here where this orange is you know I'll have them ready but uh, I like to have them ready I don't know if anybody's going live tonight on diamond painting. I 
I forgot to look that up. Had to help my boss look for a dog who ran away. And uh, had to run to the grocery store and the post office. Nothing at the post office. Or we'd be doing an unboxing, believe me. Or an unbagging, however it comes. Yeah. Nope, nothing. The last time I looked, that one diamond painting that I'm waiting on was in uh, San Francisco. So. I really didn't expect it to be there. Come on. I hate that up and down thing. It just goes even slower than when I'm doing this with you guys. Oh, I don't go real extremely fast when I'm not on camera, so. Not much changes, guys. Not much changes. Just plug away and you just keep adding one bead at a time, you know, sooner or later. In 20 lifetimes, it might be done. But, uh, I think it'd be fun to work with a bunch of people and do this. I think it'd be neat. But if you could find 15 people that would want to do this, you know, that didn't think you were absolutely off your rocker for wanting to start this, and have them all in the same room, you know, that could be quite dangerous. You might actually finish this damn thing. But, uh, we don't have such a person. My daughter's not interested, and she can't get away from the kids long enough. They're still little, you know, so. I swear I'd cut this sucker in half in a heartbeat and just say, here, go, go work on half of this. Here's half the beads. Knock yourself out. But uh, she just never took an interest. But that's okay. My mother was doing embroidery. And that's why I started to do embroidery. And li learned to like stitching. And then uh, the knitting came along. And my mom and my grandmother both knitted. So we did that for a while. And then we crocheted for a while. And and then I got into cross stitch again, and then I got into quilting. So we've been around a few barns, believe me. Just a few barns. And, you know, I mean, some of them I'd go back to, and some not so much. Just kind of got over it. And quilting got so bad and hard on my hands, you know, doing... This doesn't bother me because it's not a constant thing like because I was hand quilting and stitching the whole pattern, shall we say, together by hand and because uh, I didn't have a sewing machine. And, you know, it just the frustration level in my hands would just ache from doing too much. So, well, we ran out of that color. Uh oh guys, we're going to have to go to another needle. Oh. And of course, I pulled it through the silly thing and had it not on it. Oh, jeez. Come on. And then that pink is a, a darker red. Kind of a, like a ruby, ruby red. Let's see if we can finish this silly butterfly. Or at least this color in the butterfly. Oh, and you can't see me, can you? Dagnabbit. Sorry, guys. I'll have to pull you up further. And then we'll just... Whoops. I'm always hitting that wrong. All right, there we go. Sorry about that, all y'all. 
I hate it when I'm not in frame. We might get onto this before I get to be 112, and then I won't be able to see. That'll be the next thing. But, hey, it is what it is, and I'm enjoying this now, so. And I bought all these other things so that I would have something to do when I retire. <laughs> what a joke. So, don't know if that's going to be next week or, you know, just what it will be. We're going to jump over here to this one. Then maybe you can see more of what I'm doing. It is so hard to come this way. Whoops, sorry. I mean to move y'all. So, I don't know. We don't have too many plans. I think we got more projects that we want to complete this summer than fun things to do, you know? Not that working with my daughter isn't fun, but, you know, I'd like to just go somewhere. Whoops. Come here, you little booger. You're not going nowhere. There we go. I had an escapee. It, this almost makes you want to just skip to another section and just make a flower or 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 make something so that it looked like it was actually going to be something, you know? It just takes forever to get any kind of picture going here. I guess that's what absolutely drives me nuts. Come on, Goofy. Um, yeah, I don't know. And it's not like you could tell from, the, you can see the different colors, but it, it doesn't look a thing like what it's actually supposed to be. I think that, that part drives me crazy. Shit, I'll just go under. Got to get this one right there. Trying to finish the body of the butterfly, and then it's got this white going around the outside. So we will see what it looks like. Maybe I'll make some progress here somehow. I what just whipped through this where is it this uh, leaf over here I mean that took like no time at all and that's where I started but the rest of it's just been a little 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 pokey I haven't worked on... Uh, oh, that that was just simply tremendous. I, like, jumped... Did you see that? Oh, I thought I jumped, like, three squares on that and then put it in. Oh, jeez. I'm telling you. Some days, guys. I like that one that Crayola Picks did that was... Seems like it was on red eight o'clock. And it was all done in gold. I thought that was really pretty. Not that I knew what it said, but I just thought it was pretty being one color. And I was kind of looking around. They had one that I kind of liked. It had some roses that were, let's say, in shades of blue. or And it was on either black or um, dark blue Ada cloth. Sorry, guys. 
Um, and I thought that was really pretty. It was really stand out. And I don't think I ordered that one. The other one is kind of long and skinny like this. It's not very wide. What is this? This is 54. Hmm. Well, I know it's no 54. It's 20, I think it said. So it's not very big. It's like, what, seven and a half inches, and then it goes long, like a runner of some kind. Or, I mean, it'd be a picture, of course, but it's got flowers in it, and I think it was 20 or 25 centimeters um, this, this way, you know. So we'll see what it looks like. And that, I thought, was just the right size to try something new. I mean, as far as um, the color, not that color, jeez, I got color on the brain. As a project, and with those plastic beads, now that I know they're going to be plastic beads, and they're three millimeter, and these are, I don't know that it says, not probably not here but it did like in the description but I think they're two point something millimeter um, on the glass ones I, I couldn't be certain maybe they're two millimeter I don't remember I just know that this one was different so I'm looking forward to getting it but it won't be here guys until the middle of July probably the rate I'm going because I ordered it off a crazy AliExpress and we'll see we'll just see oh yeah that was good it came right up in the same hole I went down it oh man Now here's one that's actually, I got almost two colors, kind of, it's real close, um, on the same square, like it takes up about, eh, I want to say a, less than eight, so I guess that's a sixteenth, jeez, I'm going to go over here, because I have a tendency to come up in the same hole, there we go. We almost got that part of the butterfly done. Then I'll have to go back and figure out what these others are. There are some days, though, I wish I had never seen this on Crayola Picks. But it just looks so easy. So easy. It takes a lot of patience to do this some days. And others, you know, I can just fly through colors. But uh, flying is kind of low and slow. But, uh, all right, guys. Well, what in the world? Oh, I thought I put it not in it. I have gone right through the thread, yeah, because the thread was too dang long. But they seem to be laying down okay. There we go. Come up over there. Well, guys, thanks for joining me today. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you if you already have. And don't forget to hit the bell so you know when my next video comes out. 
and you'll have a great day. Goodbye. Goodbye.